welcome to neutral side action and we're just about ready for kickoff and now we bring you the coin toss and it's presented by nissan innovation that excites The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. The Wildcats and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. From their own 29-yard line, second down. He's under some heat. Going deep, lays it out there. Can't connect. That pass sailed over the receiver's head. This guy can wing it, that's for sure. He just needs to improve on his accuracy. He heaves it deep. They knock it down. Incomplete. Took a great play to make sure that long pass wasn't completed. Well, Brad, the quarterback had his man, and lo and behold, here comes the defender, and the play is over. Tackle made at the 41. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Got some open field. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. the stop at about the 31. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. They hand it off again. They'll bring him down right around the 30. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 30. He's got an opening. Inside the 10. And he will score. tell you what this kid is incredible he's got the moves the speed the power he's the total package and he converts the extra point a four play 59 yard drive and they get it in for seven well the blocking up front was just amazing i think that's what led them to those big runs they line up to kick this one away he's out to the 30. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. One team forced to punt, Herbie, and the other one comes right back and gets some points. Boy, Brad, this is exactly how you draw it up. You come up with a big stop to start the game off. Your offense moves down, gets, his, gets points on the board. You can't start much better than this. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's pushed out of bounds at the 43. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 43. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Knocked out of bounds at 
the 49. Good hook up there. They get an eight-yard gain and a first down. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. We've got a first and 10. Like Ball that. on the 39. Like that. He makes it to the 38-yard line. That brings up second and nine. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. They're about four yards away here on third down. He fights forward to about the 29. Three yards there on the delayed handoff. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And he has it on the corner. He's tackled right around the 20. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. This is the eighth play of this drive. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. This is the ninth play of this drive. Defense in their short yardage package. Runs left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to. And the net result is a loss. They're at the five. Second down. Nice run there. The misdirection play gets him four yards. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. The Wildcats running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. And it pays off. Touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So an 11 play, 61 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. We're even at seven in this one. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And down he goes at the 39-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. We've played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7-7. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Now he tries to buy some time. And now he's going to run. And he's taken down at about the 49. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Throws to the right to his fullback, and they push him out at the 45. That makes it second and six. Two times, two times. pass and he's right there to knock it away that was a nice play anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus third down and they need to get it down to the 39 quick throw incomplete one of his receiver number 86 the intended receiver on the play that'll make it fourth and six this punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 31. Here's the halfback. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds around the 48-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football and check it down or take off and run with it. He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds around the 38-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. The defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. rid of this one third down and they need to get it to the 28 they'll make the sack sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack that's what happened there Trying to change the field position with this kick. Oh, man, he took him down hard. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Give to the tailback. Gets out to around the 35. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes. And he was able to get through for a loss. And now he's 
got room to run. And they get nice yardage on that run. From their own 38-yard line. First down. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. The pass ball is incomplete. Number 35 was the intended. So we're looking at another third down here. That'll make it 39. Brought down at the 48-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. He punts. No, he won't. Complete. He's got room. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. And he throws it away. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And they got him. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down to that sack. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Pressure coming. He wants it all going long. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. This is the 11th play of this drive. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. Touchdown. move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They looked like they practiced that one a few times. And he hits the PAT. It was an 11 play, 75 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. Wildcats struggling trying to get their star right receiver in this game. And sometimes, you know, Herbie, it's almost like uh, a jump shooter in basketball. Get him to the free throw line. Get him one free one from 15 feet and see how he can do. they got to get the ball in his hand somehow. I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's just a matter of just one play, one touch to get this guy going because he has that kind of ability. And up to this point, they've not been able to find a way to get him the ball. Good credit, a lot of credit to this defense for coming in with a good plan. But now it's up to the offense to make their own adjustments to kind of counter that attack by this defense to be able to get the, the ball into the hands of their go-to guy. It's first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they make the stop at the 46. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. He sails it long. They'll bring him down at about the 17-yard line. Number six at the technical at the 17-yard line. First down. Pocket holds. Oh, it almost picked off. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. It's second and ten. Ball on the 17-yard line. The ten. 
And they'll score. What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense. When you have a quarterback who can do things like that, the coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 73-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Goes over the middle, intercepted. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. From the 30-yard line, first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Knocked out of bounds at the seven. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. run to the left there. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Hold everything, folks. There's a marker down. Let's get the call. Got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The return team looks ready to go. They need to take this one all the way in order to lead at the half. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. So at the end of the half, the Wildcats lead 17-14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being. Each team matching each other blow for blow. Just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. He's 
going to go for the home run. Complete. It's the freshman. Oh, so close to breaking it. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Passes and it's almost picked off. Number 35, he intends on receiving the play. That brings him second and goal. hit and taken down third and goal and they can already taste the lead and he just gets rid of it even though they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers if he hits this we're all tied up it's up, and they tack on three points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Feeds it to the back. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Second down and 11. Ball on the 32-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down at the 41. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He's knocked out of bounds at the 44. Pretty good job by the return man there. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. And off up the middle, and he's stuck. From their own 43-yard line. Second down. Has time. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Number one, he intended to see the right way. That makes it third and 11. Strike complete, and they push him out at the 33 yard line. First and ten, ball on the 33. He 
He's at the 20. He's taken down at the 13-yard line. From the 13-yard line, first down. Makes it to the five. A gain of eight on the carry. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. It looks like he's a little bit short of the first. Well, the quarterback should have known better than to throw that pass. At least give the receiver time to get past the first down line before you throw it. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Play action. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. It's second down. Defense will be digging in here as they're inside their own five. They line up in the jumbo set. Nice run up the middle. Fires out to his wideout, and down he goes at the 24. Number seven makes the set at the 24 yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 24 yard line. Here's the give. Across midfield. And he's finally shoved out at the 38-yard line. First and 10 following that big run. At about the 31. So at the end of the third quarter, good game here, 17-17. We've played three quarters even. Fourth quarter is going to tell the difference. First and ten. Ball on the 21. Here's the eighth play of the series.
tackled around the five-yard line. So here's where we find out who wants it more. First and goal. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. Tenth play of the drive. Fights forward to about the seven. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Not much gained on that play because this safety did a wonderful job of getting up there and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. Well, let's see what they do here. It's third and goal from the six. Ten yard line, and they back up three yards on that play. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. The kick is up, and it is good. And so they take the lead with that field goal. Big time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the thirty. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Caught, and he's out of bounds. That's a loss. They come out on an empty backfield. They'll bring him down right around the 50. Change your quarterback, Kirby. You gotta wonder what that's gonna do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've gotta be ready to trust this guy. It's first and 10. Ball on the 50 yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled right away. Come out in a five-wide set. Now he's scrambling. Tackle made right around the 40. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. He's on the run. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. From the 18 yard line, first down. Makes it to the eight. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10 yard gain. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Under a minute left in the game. Nice 
nice run, and he's brought down. That's good enough to pick up the first down. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. Touchdown, and that puts them on top. this one deep and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback the Wildcats have sort of set up the defense with this wide receiver doing most of the damage do they go away from him or do they do something different well, I think one of two things here for this offense you either find a way to get your star receiver the football or in some cases you want to use him as a decoy maybe take two or three defenders with him and then open it up for somebody else to be able to make a play quick pass Knocked out of bounds around the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. First down. There's a very impressive open field tackle. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Under a minute left. Zips it to the back. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. From the 36-yard line, second down. Quick pass going back to his running back. Caught with room to work. He goes out of bounds around the 22 yard line. And he just gets rid of it. From the 22 yard line, it's second down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And they hit him in the backfield. And this play is number eight on the drive. Wildcats using their third and final timeout. So this is it right here. One last play and one last chance to win the game. If they can get the Hail Mary, they'll pull out the miracle. They've done it. I can't believe it. to go up by three they'll kick the extra point and he converts the extra point if they feel the kick here a touchdown return is their only chance at victory he just drills this one this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback this has been a great game and it all comes down to this who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. He wants it all going long. The Wildcats, coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.